No lantern, how's she come out of France? Actually, she didn't come out very well. Her scope was wrong and she was pretty sick. She's been on antibiotics and the nebulizer since. We've rescoped her and she's back fine now, no problem. So I'm not saying it's an excuse, but we have a reason why she underperformed and she's back in against her own sex uh, on Saturday and she should have an excellent chance. She's beaten most of them before, all of them, I think. Some of them beaten her mind as well. But I'm glad now that we know she's over the issues that she had in France when she, she just didn't sparkle at all that day. You know, I hoped I'd find something. And I've got to say, I'm, I'm pleased we did because it does, it does give you an understanding of the fact that biologically she couldn't perform to her normal level, which is understandable and relieving. She's back in, in good health and she's moving great and Sean's very happy with her. And she's obviously been the apple of your eye all season. Has she changed as the season's gone on? She's got stronger, yeah, no question. Um, you know, she's just such a special filly to have around with the history and the, the mare that she's out of was such a, such a star and a legend around here. And now she's become the same. It's almost like she's back. It's, it's really weird, but, you know, got to say, it gives the place a, a real buzz and we're, we're so lucky to have her. She's here next year. Well, Rockcliffe Stud can come and pick her up, but they'll have a job to find her. I <laughs> know they're fully behind the fact that, you know, they, of all people, enjoyed Sky Lantern so much. And when you don't have a filly like that for those big races, my God, you miss them. And with this filly coming back, I would say that me, as well as them, appre appreciate it so much more this time. And, you know, we're mad keen to keep her and, you know, have the, the thrill of, of racing such a good filly, you know, that means so much, that, that is homemade for them.